Hello, my name's Ian Bryant and I'm the head teacher of Aldridge School. Uh, I've been here for three years and uh, it's a school that is very dear to me as somebody who lives only half a mile down the road uh, and having my daughter uh, come here some years ago. One of the most things I'm most proud of about Aldridge School is the fact that we are genuinely comprehensive and for our local area. And what I mean by comprehensive is that we don't select our students in any way whatsoever. That means that our students come from a diverse range of backgrounds and with a wide range of abilities when they come to us. Our challenge then is to make our curriculum and our teaching meet their needs and to prepare them well for their life after school. Part of our way of doing that is to try and uh, have an atmosphere in which we don't have lots of rules, but we still have boundaries and uh, guidelines for our students. And we do that through our four R's. That is, we want our students to be respectful, responsible, resilient and ready to learn. Respectful, meaning that they treat each other as they would have uh, people treat themselves and that they value their education and the environment that they're in. Responsible, meaning that they remember that their education and their behaviour are their responsibility and a product of their choices. Resilient, meaning that it's okay to fail. Uh, we all get things wrong, but making, th making mistakes is a learning opportunity. And ready to learn, meaning that they're here, they're dressed smartly, they're organised, they have the right books, the right equipment, and well prepared and in the right frame of mind. If you choose Aldridge School for your child, then I'm confident that they'll be in a happy and safe environment and they'll have a very successful seven years with us. A respectful student is a proud member of Aldridge School. They value their time at school, their education, the people around them. <coughs> they value help from teachers and help from other students. They speak to people properly and take time to listen to others. To respect your peers and your teachers. Respectful is to respect your environment and your teachers and friends. To respect your friends, peers and teachers. To be respectful you need to respect your teachers and your peers. Respectful means to be kind to your peers, respect everybody, including your environment and your teachers. To be respectful is to be respectful to your peers and your teachers and all the classrooms around you so that uh, the experience of school is the same for everyone. A responsible student is always very motivated and works well independently and in a team. They contribute to lessons and use their initiative. Taking responsibility of your actions and behaving properly. To be responsible means to face the consequences of your actions and know that if you do something wrong, you have to make it right. A resilient student is open-minded when it comes to challenges and persists when it comes to problem solving. A resilient student also carries on when they find things difficult and they, all, and they always come through the challenges. To never give up and try your hardest. Resilient means to not give up and try your hardest in every lesson. Don't give up, try your hardest and you'll succeed. To be resilient means you never give up, try your hardest. Always trying hard in lesson and not giving up. To be resilient means to never give up and try your hardest, even if you think you can't do it, you will. To be resilient means to try again and never give up. To be resilient means to carry on, keep going, doesn't matter how many times you get it wrong. A student who is ready to learn always brings the right equipment to school and brings books that are correct for their classes. They're never late and always and always ensure that they're on time. It means to have all your equipment and turn up to lessons on time. Ready to learn means to be ready and prepared to do all your work in lessons. To have your equipment and all your books for your lessons. Uh, to be ready to learn you have to make sure you're on time, make sure you bring everything you need for that specific day. Being on time for lesson and always having your equipment. It means that you have all your equipment ready, your uniform is correct and you're on time to lessons. To be ready to learn means to have all of your equipment and to be able to arrive on time. To be ready to learn uh, means that you have all your equipment, that you're ready in class and that you're in a working attitude. Hello, I'm Mr Williams. 
Hello, and I'm Missy Summerfield. And we are Daniel's house at Aldridge School. Um, we're a bit different um, to the schools in terms of we don't have a um, head of year system. Um, so normally in other schools you might change your head of year every year going up. Uh, in the house system, we are your heads of house from year seven right the way through uh, to the end of your time in school in year 11 or um, in the sixth form. And it's our job uh, to take care of you, um, whether it's something small like you're a bit lost in school or you've lost your pencil case, um, or to things that might be a bit bigger if there's something that's upsetting you um, or if there's something that you're not too happy with. We are the people who we, um, who you come to um, and who look after you in school. So we're a bit like um, the class teachers in primary school. Um, why do we think Daniel's house is the best of the four houses then? Well, we are because we are like a family, um, we come together, um, we support each other in sports events, um, academically, um, we um, do assemblies together, um, so we all just like a big family. Um, We've won a um, sports day on the past few years now, um, so we especially take pride in all of our extracurricular events. Um, as I said, sports are massive. We've won sports day and we've uh, done really well in other sports competitions, but it's not just about the sports with us as well. There's so many other extracurricular activities and extracurricular competitions um, that um, help us to win the house trophy. Um, in the past few years, we've had um, a castle building competition through the history department. We've had art competitions, uh, music competitions, quizzes, uh, loads of things that you can do to take part in house life. Um, and to help us win the house uh, cup and more importantly to win yourselves uh, lots of house points um, and as Mrs Summerfield said we are like a big family our students are fantastic um, they support each other brilliantly um, and that's what we believe makes us stand out as a house absolutely and, and we also support not just the pupils that come in we support the families um, and that's what we're there for um, because we are houses and we look after around about 350 children we're there not just to support the pupil but to support the parents as well um, and we're there always on the end of the phone and that makes us all think yeah. unique as a school. Um, so we hope that we've given you a small insight into what it's like in Daniels um, and hopefully um, in next year or the next few years you'll be joining us um, and you'll be a part of Daniels House. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Uh, hello everyone, I'm Mr Chohan, uh, Head of Lindley House. This is Mrs Cartwright. Hello, Cartwright's. I'm Mrs Cartwright and I'm Deputy Head of Lindley House. So basically what we're doing is just giving you a bit of introduction about what our role is in Aldridge School. Um, so as Head of House and Deputy Head of House, we basically look after everybody in Lindley House. So it's roughly about 350 kids. So uh, our role is to make your transition into Aldridge School, if you're not already here, a smooth one. So any issues you have can come to us. Obviously you have your form tutors as well, um, but if they're not available, and then either me or Mrs Carter will always be there. We're available before school, break time, lunch time and after school. So if you've got any problems or any queries, you can always pop down to us and we can help resolve them for you. So again, the reason we've got the house system is because we've got quite a big school. So to have one person looking after everyone would be uh, quite impossible, really. So it is nice, the fact that we've got a house system. We've got, a, you know, friendly bit of competition going on as well with the other houses. So the other houses are Scott, Daniels and Barr, but you don't need to worry about them because if you're going to be in the house then you're obviously in the best house. Um, there are all sorts of competitions, prizes that can be won and unfortunately part of my job is also to look after behaviour as well, but uh, hoping that's not going to be the case with you. So we're looking more at the positive side, mm -hmm. yeah? yeah, and uh, we look forward to having you here if you choose to come to Overhead School. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Mrs Lau and I'm Head of Scott House. And I'm Mr Sidaway and I'm Deputy in Scott House. We're here today just to give you a little bit more information about Scott House um, and what we do. So we'll start off first of all with the really good things. So, so um, you might have heard a lot of other houses tell you why their house is the best. We can confirm our house is the best because we've won the house championship for the last nine years. Right, so the championships consist of lots and lots of different competitions, so it's not just sport related. Um, if you um, like art or um, are creative in lots and lots of different ways, uh, the, the different departments put on competitions. Um, we have won most of the competitions and the quizzes um, for the last five years. Um, so we do expect every child to at least take part. Right, we're part of a big pastoral team. Um, our 
job essentially is to keep you safe um, and to be your first port of contact for absolutely everything. So we will be your heads of houses from year 7 to 13 and we want to give you the best opportunities here at Aldridge School. Thank you very much, we Thanks hope to listening. see you soon. Bye -bye. Uh, hi everybody, uh, my name is Sarah Parton um, and I am the head of Bar House. Uh, that, for those of you who don't know anything about Aldridge School, is the Purple House. So you can see us by our purple ties and that is our Bar family. Um, I work with another lady called Miss Tame um, in our office and our job here really is to ensure that you are happy, okay? Not a, not a little task, uh, but hopefully not the largest task either. Um, academic obviously is important, but I know for myself as a parent that when I go into school, the questions I ask are not necessarily about the exam results, it's about what's going on for the students and how do I know that my child is going to walk around school and not be on their own and that they're going to enjoy coming to school and that they're going to be happy. And ultimately, that's my job. So we are the place where you would come if you have any problems. And when I say problems, I mean your water's leaked in your bag. Your mum and dad forgot to put any money on your account, so you can't get any food, and it's the end of the world, okay? It isn't, okay? And all of these problems and little niggles that we have, they're things that we've seen many times and that we can help you sort. The other part that we really do get involved in, though, is when you do have fallings out. And let's be honest, they do happen, much as we don't want them to. And my job, and Miss Time's job, is to make sure that we try and intervene early so that we can sort out those little squabbles, and you are still happy and healthy when you come to school. Now, I'm supposed to tell you that Bar House is the best, but as far as I'm concerned, that just goes without saying, because obviously it is. Um, but what I can say about Bar House is, is that we are very, very passionate about ensuring that you are happy when you come to school, and we will do everything we can do to ensure that that is the case, working with you as a student, working with your parents, and obviously with your teachers. I hope that you choose Aldridge School for next year, and I look forward to seeing many of you in September. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Mr Wilson, one of the maths team here at Aldridge. Uh, we're very excited to have you come and study maths with us uh, in Year 7 and beyond, hopefully. Um, our curriculum builds upon what you've learned at primary school. Um, it is designed to stretch all pupils, but there is really lovely support that's there for those that require it. It's a really fully differentiated curriculum. Uh, and it's a spiral curriculum, like a lot of maths curriculum, so that all topics are revisited throughout each year, but at a higher level, so you kind of go up uh, like a spiral staircase. Um, as well as being a really uh, well-qualified maths department who are really eager to teach all of you, um, we also offer um, a LEGO Robotics Club and other STEM clubs. And last year, actually, our LEGO Robot Club ended up going to a national championships to uh, challenge other schools with their LEGO robots. So, uh, like I said, we're really excited to have you study maths with us and look forward to meeting you in the new year. Hello prospective Year 7 students, my name is Miss Norman and I teach English here at Aldridge School. I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about why English is so brilliant and so important and uh, why we as an English staff are so passionate about it. When you start here in September 2021, which seems like a million miles away right now, we don't want to look at you as just being a statistic, a future GCSE grade. We like to look at you at the potential you've got to be a brilliant human being in the future. And so in the English department, we want to help you get a brilliant job and a brilliant home and live a brilliant life. Let me give you an example. Let's say that you are a huge football fan. You go to home games, away games, you spend all your time on the internet looking at the history of your football club. Maybe you watch it on TV or you listen to it online, but you don't want to be a professional footballer. Well, in the English department, we're going to teach you the skills that you need to perhaps take that love of football and become a broadcaster. Maybe you're going to be the next match of the day presenter. Maybe you could be the commentary team on BT Sports. And with the skills that we can teach you in English, you can make that career possible. When you start in Aldridge in 2021, you'll be really lucky because all of the staff here who teach English are what we call subject specialists which means that we went to university to study the topics and the subjects that we teach. And that's really exciting for you, because if you're someone who absolutely loves reading, we've all got a massive breadth of knowledge and can give you books to challenge you and really drive that love of learning. But 
Not everybody finds English easy. And if you're one of those people that finds English quite difficult, you struggle with reading, what we want to say to you as a department is don't panic. It's your job when you start here in September to come with an open mind, be ready to learn, and it's our job to find texts which you will find easier to engage with. So in year seven, we start with texts like Harry Potter or War of the Worlds, which is about aliens invading Earth. We look at epic war poetry, all as ways to try and get you to engage with a subject that perhaps in primary school you struggled with a bit more. We're really lucky in the English department that our library program is brilliant and we spend time each week helping you improve on your reading if that's something that you really start to struggle with. In Year 7, we give you an absolutely wicked opportunity to become a published author by the time that you're 13, which is just mad. So if you're really creative and you love the creative side of English when you were at primary school, that's something that we're going to carry on here in Aldridge. We hope to see you in September and we hope that you're really ready for the challenge to become the very best version of you through the study of English. Hi, welcome to the Geography Department at Audrey School. I'm Mrs Walsworth, I'm Head of Geography. Uh, this is Miss Tolliday, who's part of the Geography team. We've got six members of the Geography Department uh, who are looking forward to welcoming you. Um, I'll pass you on to Miss Tolliday and will tell you a bit about Geography. So throughout your time doing Geography at Aldridge School, you can expect to learn about a variety of places. We look at places local to Aldridge and we also look at places all around the world. So you can learn about the human activity that's going on around the world and the natural processes. So we'll touch on things that are really in the news such as climate change and we do things like um, recent volcanic eruptions and earthquakes as well. Uh, we'll also do a number of field trips as well uh, during your time at Audrey School. Uh, that could be from the botanical gardens, uh, looking at tropical rainforests, uh, taking you on a uh, rivers course at Cardamill Valley. Um, there'll be lots of topics that we cover as well during Year 7, including map skills, which are really important throughout your course at Audrey School doing geography. Um, fantastic places where we'll look at a number of uh, locations around the world. And we'll also look at tropical rainforests, obviously, with the botanical gardens trip, looking at plant adaptations and the structure of the rainforest. We look forward to welcoming you at Aldridge School. Hi, my name's Anna McComish. I'm head of the history department at Aldridge School, and I'm here today to talk to you about the department. We are a fantastic department. We are full of enthusiastic teachers who love the subject and are genuinely deeply passionate about history. And because of that, our curriculum is full of loads of brilliant topics that we love to teach. We start Year 7 with Normans and we look at the conquest of England and we'll spend the rest of Year 7 looking into the medieval world and how kings ruled people, how the peasants themselves fought back up against that, the role of religion and how much that dominated people's lives. We'll end the year looking at the Tudor kings, which some of you might remember from primary school, but we'll go into far greater detail and we'll look at their characters and how they shaped the nation, again rebellions they faced, how they shifted the church and began the powers of parliament. One of the things I love about our department, one of the things I think is really special about History of Aldridge, is the way in which we don't just leave ancient history behind. Thinking forward a couple of years, when it is you start to maybe think about your GCSEs, we run both a history and an ancient history GCSE. And because of that, what we've done with our Key Stage 3 curriculum is that in every single year you do history in Key Stage 3, which for you guys will be seven to nine, you'll always do an ancient history topic. So you'll end year seven looking at ancient Greece. And again, some of you might think, oh brilliant, I've done that at primary school. We will look into the ancient sources that teach us about ancient Greece. We'll think about what do we take for granted today that we've actually taken from ancient Greece itself. We'll visit the Roman Empire, its rise and fall in year eight, and we'll look at the origins of humanity in the ancient Middle East in year nine. And because of that, I think we have a really interesting and vibrant curriculum. And whoever your teacher is, whichever class you end up with, you're going to be taught by someone who absolutely loves the subject and it's going to be interesting and, and different and developed and we can't wait to see you in September. Hi there, my name is Mrs Blizzard and I'm a member of the Religious Studies Department. Uh, we are a really popular subject at Aldridge School and one of the highest performing subjects. In Year 7, 8 and 9 we do lots and lots of different activities, lots of creative activities, lots of debates. It doesn't matter if you're religious or not. We will look at the major world religions and we look at alternative religions like uh, Jediism, the Church of Maradona, 
Uh, we also look at non-religious beliefs like atheism. We're really looking forward to welcoming you here at Aldridge School and to learning all the brilliant things we will do in religious studies. Good morning everyone. My name is Mrs Cor and I'm the school librarian. The library at Aldridge School is extremely well resourced. We have over 17,000 books and it is always very busy. All of the pupils in Year 7 and 8 have fortnightly library lessons where they follow structured reading programmes. The Year 7 do the Accelerated Reader programme where they read books within their reading levels and then they sit quizzes. The Year 8 are encouraged to read books of different genres and by different authors. The library opens at 8 o'clock and is open until 4 o'clock and so pupils are welcome to come before school, after school, lunch times and break times to use the library. We also hold various activities throughout the year, such as Book Week, um, Readathon, we share the Children's Book Awards, the Carnegie, the Young Adult Book Award, we do Slam Poetry. So there's always something going on to keep children excited about reading and excited about books. The library provides a friendly and relaxed environment, and I really look forward to working with your child to instill a love for reading. Hi, my name's Mrs Briggs, I'm the Food Technology Teacher and I teach Food, Preparation and Nutrition and it's a subject that I absolutely love. At Aldridge School, Food, Preparation and Nutrition is a compulsory subject in Key Stage 3. During Key Stage 3 you will gain an understanding of the importance of nutrition within our developing bodies. You will look at the relationship between diet and health, the nutritional and dietary needs of different groups, the nutritional needs when selecting recipes and the importance of nutrition within your diet. For example, are you putting into your body enough food for the activities that you are doing? Each year, these topics will be built upon so you gain a deeper understanding of all the areas. We look at food science, which is where the magic happens, why ingredients go from one thing to another, your sensory properties, you tell me what you like, what you dislike, is it the same as the person next to you? Food safety, again, it's about how not to make people poorly when you are cooking for them. We look at food provenance, where does it come from? How do you get things like flour from wheat? How do you get cheese from a cow? We look at the production, the processing that's in, involved in getting those ingredients into an ingredient that you would use at home. We look at the different cultural and culinary terms and traditions that people from our multicultural society bring to us. We look at sharing different experiences and recipes. We look at why we like what we like, why we choose those foods, because we're all different. Food preparation is a vital, vital life skill. It's a skill that you're going to need for your development. It's not just about your career, Yes, there are many within the catering and hospitality industry. It's about becoming a well-educated and independent young adult. And you're responsible then for your own diet, health and well-being. Think about university. You're going to move away from home. Who's going to cook for you? Mom? Dad? Nan? Gran? Nah. You've got to do it yourself. Many restaurants will advertise that they need part-time staff. This will give you knowledge. This will give you extra money and this will give you something to put down on your CV. So having a background knowledge gained within school will get you the first stepping stone. It's an amazing subject. I love teaching it. In my opinion, it's the best subject in the school. I will argue with anybody who says it isn't. I award things like food champions. Could you be my food champion in my lesson? Could you be my support? Could you be my chef of the week? Could you help guide people that are maybe a little bit anxious? I set challenges every week. I do, boys, will you beat the girls with your skills or girls, will you step up to the mark and take over? We have fun every practical lesson. It's sociable, it's engaging, it's a life skill. It's just the best. And that's food. And I'm Mrs Briggs. Thank you for listening. Hi, my name's Miss Harrop. I'm Head of Arts, Technology and Food at Aldridge School. At Aldridge, we offer a variety of specialist subjects. Within Key Stage 3, the subjects are compulsory and will be for an hour long. They are also based on a rotational basis within technology, so you will get the chance to explore two specialist areas within a year. This gives you, gives you the chance to explore a variety of topics from illustration to development of skills to produce a 3D outcome for using a variety of materials. Within textiles and 3D design, you will be given the opportunity to build and develop a particular skill set on using specialist equipment, enabling you to produce high quality professional products 
you will get a chance to use and experiment with a whole range of materials and media and resources and get the chance to use a range of specialist equipment such as um, the laser cutter, 3D printer, sewing machines, we've got two computer suites and um, full use of Adobe factory shops. The art lessons were similar across one hour period covering um, two projects within the year. You would get the chance to demonstrate a variety of skills throughout the projects given to you at Key Stage 3, ranging from illustration to a practical 3D outcome using a variety of different medias that you probably haven't used before, such as oil pastels, watercolours, clay, and also get the chance to create three-dimensional pieces of work. We base our work around researching a variety of artists and designers. This gives you a chance to explore and investigate their amazing work and have a chance to reproduce work in the style of the artist or the designer. After studying these areas within Key Stage 3, both the technology specialists and the art, you'll get the chance to choose one of the subject areas for GCSE at the end of Year 9. The projects are mainly self-driven within Key Stage 4 at GCSE level, but you'll be given a greater independence to study and it become more personal to you. So all the skills that you've developed within 7, 8 and 9, they will then become obviously a more of a focus on a particular area. Uh, furthermore, you wish to maybe choose to stop on with us for A-level, we study and choose um, all of those options. Um, basically, we have a great uptake at GCSE level. Um, the kids really enjoy the subject, both boys and girls, and it's a really popular subject to choose. To be able to develop a certain skill set over a period of time in creative subjects is really, really exciting. To watch people's skills develop over a period of time is amazing to observe. So I look forward to hopefully watching you develop and join us in that process. So I just want to wish you luck in your last year um, and hopefully look forward to seeing you soon. Hello there, um, I'm Mr Smith and I'm head of um, PE at Aldridge School and um, looking forward to welcoming you all um, when you're able to come back. I'm uh, just here to tell you a few things about the PE department. Uh, we're quite a big department, we have eight members of staff, currently three females and five males. Okay, All have different um, specialisms in different sports, but we look to offer as many different sports as we can and a range of opportunities which I'll talk a little bit more about. Uh, at Aldridge School we're very, very lucky. Um, with the facilities that we have. We have extensive facilities which your child would um, have full access to during curriculum time and extracurricular. Uh, we have a gym um, where we have gymnastics and dance. We have six tennis courts and we also have three netball courts and two five-a-side football pitches which are now Astro based. We have extensive playing fields. Um, we have a climbing wall we have a gym which is dedicated to table tennis and we also have a weights gym and a cardio gym. So we're very, very lucky with the facilities that we have. Okay? The PE curriculum is made up primarily of traditional sports such as your footballs, netballs, rugby, cricket, rounders, swimming, gymnastics dance, basketball and badminton, but we also um, have less traditional sports such as handball, trampolining, outdoor and adventurous activities, HRE and table tennis. In terms of extracurricular we try to offer as much of a range as we possibly can, so the majority of the activities that you will do in curriculum time will also be offered as extracurricular clubs and some of these clubs will also lead on to sports teams for which we have sports teams in football, we have sports teams in rugby, netball, rounders, cricket, tennis, table tennis and a variety of different um, sports that are on offer across Warsaw and across the borough and also we enter national um, competitions for both netball and football at least. In addition to this the PE department offers house competitions. House competitions tend to be based around traditional sports and this includes uh, big events such as the Swimming Gala, the Dance Festival and also a big culmination in our Sports Day which is our athletics event which is often held at Royal Sutton Coldfield um, Athletics Track. The house events are split into junior, intermediate and senior groups and they're all on a competitive basis to earn house points for your house for which the house at the end of the year with the most house points obviously wins all the, all the awards. Hope to see you soon playing sport for Aldridge School.
Hello and welcome to the Science Department at Aldridge School. I'm Miss Sullivan, I'm Head of Science here. Here at the department, we believe in developing a love of learning of science. We're an enthusiastic department staffed by subject specialists who like to keep abreast of current events. We have a whole variety of teaching styles that cater for all types of learners. The department has recently refurbished laboratories and is well resourced with equipment designed to make learning exciting and allow students the opportunity to develop their practical skills as well as knowledge and content to ensure students gain a rounded science education. At Key Stage 3 we have developed a scheme of learning to fully support students in their transition from primary school to secondary school. This develops their confidence in working in a scientific laboratory with scientific equipment, producing and evaluating accurate data and understanding science in the world around them. Students will study the functions of the human body, complete colourful chemical reactions and experiment with various forces that affect objects on Earth. The course is also designed to provide a core foundation for science that is built on at GCSE. Thanks very much and hope to see you soon at Aldridge School. Hello, bonjour and guten tag. Um, I'm Mrs Ezrini and I'm the Head of Languages here at Aldridge School. Um, we think our department is really special because you get to study both German and French uh, from Year 7 and that's uh, the two very different languages. Um, we think the languages are all about communication in real life situations. So for example, you learn how to order an ice cream in Year 7 and then in Year 9 and Year 10 um, we offer trips abroad to both France and Germany where you're able to practice the skills that you've learnt. Thank you and hope to see you soon. Hi, I'm Miss Chin, I'm the Senko for Aldridge School and we provide a complement of resources to support students with a range of special educational needs to support all students to achieve their full potential. We have a, a range of resources to ensure that all students can achieve their potential um, and maximise their support and ensure that no child gets left behind. We also have a full team of teaching assistants and high level teaching assistants that can um, provide both in-class support and booster support provision. And um, the booster support provision that we offer supports those students with speech and language difficulties, social and emotional and mental health needs, as well as cognition and learning difficulties for those who need some more academic support. We also have a social club and the social club supports students to help connect with each other, play games and develop their social skills. Um, we also have a fully staffed SEN department at break times and lunch times and this department enables um, a place for students to come to if they need a bit more support and are a bit more vulnerable at breaks and lunch times. We also have a higher level teaching assistant who um, is responsible for, for transition and this person works with the primary feeder schools to support students effectively uh, and to ensure that we've got the, the right information and support for those students. Thank you very much and I hope to see you soon. Hello, I'm Richard Mason, I'm Director of Music at Aldridge School and it's good just to take a moment to explain and introduce you to the music department. We're a very busy department teaching throughout the school uh, up to A-level music and A-level music technology. We run quite a number of uh, ensembles during the week. We have a, a junior band and a senior band. We have swing bands, we have two choirs and we have a school orchestra as well. And those orchestras and choirs and bands uh, form part of a very busy uh, music making diary which goes throughout the year. We also, of course, support the school uh, production which usually takes place in the summer. We also have a music scholarship scheme which is available for 25 youngsters a year through audition and that provides an enhanced musical opportunity. That scheme has been running for well over 20 years. It's tried and tested and it has uh, a lineage of a number of notable musicians who are now performing and teaching uh, out in our community and indeed further afield. And now I'd like to introduce you to my colleague Nicholas Turner who is Head of Department who will say just a little bit more about uh, the life of music at Aldridge School. Hello, um, we have a very extensive music diary within the school. We run a series of several concerts, not only on the school premises, but also supporting events out in the local community, making money for various charities, Warsaw Heart Care, Cancer Research, out in 
um, venues such as Highbury Theatre and in Southern Town Hall. We also have a series of residential courses which are open to all musicians, not just music scholars. Especially important is to notice that in amongst our series of concerts, all ensembles are open to not just music scholars, but to anyone who plays a musical instrument within, within the school. Our residential courses include a biannual tour to Germany, which is always very well received. Here is an example of one of our ensembles. This is one of our swing bands. I hope you enjoy it. One, two, three, four. I play the clarinet, oboe, cello and flute. Flute, saxophone, piano, cello and percussion. The music scholarship means, so in year six you'll have to audition and you'll have to play your instrument and then you might get in or you might not and when you get accepted then you can do all different things like go and score residential trips, you get music lessons and then you have your second one free and you get to do a lot of good experiences. Uh, it means that you have so many more opportunities to play in bands and get music lessons and you can go on loads of different courses and get to know new people and you can go to Germany and go on all the nice different courses. It's a really great way to learn your instrument better. Hiya, I'm Mrs Sane. I'm Mrs Briggs. And we are both the coordinators of PSHC at Aldridge School. PSHC stands for Personal, Social, Health and Citizenship Education. At Aldridge School uh, you will have PSHC delivered in your form time by your form tutor twice a week. During this time you will get an opportunity to ask lots of questions, have lots of discussions and do creative tasks uh, based all on very important issues that you may face. As Mrs Hussain has just said, we talk about lots of different topics. I'm going to chunk them down into three. We do RSE, which you will find out a little bit more about Miss Parton in a little while. RSE is about relationships. We do living in the wider world where you will learn about careers and finance and how to be independent. And we do health and wellbeing. It's about looking after yourself, both physically and mentally. The topics are all separate, but they are very closely linked. And year upon year, you will build upon the knowledge gained from one year to the next. Personal is about you. Social, it's to do with how you interact and how you are within your community, how you are in the school community, how you are with your friends. Health, everybody needs to look after themselves, particularly in this climate at the moment. Citizenship, develop knowledge and skills and understand how to play a part in society and how to act correctly and make the right choices. And economics, it's all about money and budgets. So that highlights some of the important and vital topics that you will cover within PSHCE. Sometimes they are tricky, sometimes they are very delicate and sometimes they are quite sensitive subjects which may make you feel emotional at times. Remember it's all personal stuff that we are talking about. But this will help us prepare you massively to be a well prepared and well adjusted young adult to go into the society at any time. With this in mind, we do have to ensure that we are respectful to others at all times, particularly in PSHCE. It's about you voicing your concerns, having an opinion, debating, discussing, learning new facts, taking on board other people's thoughts and processing all those. So it's really important that you are respectful and give people the, ch the chance to voice their own opinions. So in a nutshell, the key to PSHCE is about us preparing you for the wider world. Thank you for listening to Mr. Sain and myself. We'll now pass you over to Miss Parton who's going to talk about the relationships part of PSHCA.
Hi everybody, uh, my name's Sarah Parton. Uh, one of the many roles that I do here uh, is to be involved in PSHCE education within school and I am designated as responsible for sex and relationships education in school. Uh, some of you might be aware that it's something that you have to do now. Uh, it is mandatory by law. And so at Aldridge School what we've developed is a programme about relationships, sexual relationships and health that you learn in a, what we call a spiralled curriculum. That means we learn bits and pieces, building on our knowledge year on year um, to help us to develop healthy relationships and to understand our rights uh, under the law that, we, that you have, I was gonna say we then, but that you have as young people, because I'm not quite so young anymore, um, and how you can um, access any of the help or support that you need for you to be able to develop those healthy relationships. Um, you're obviously going to learn a lot more about it when you come into school and obviously if anybody has any questions about anything that they want to ask beforehand then you're obviously welcome to contact the school because but please be aware that it is something that is done in a very very sensitive and comprehensive manner. Thank you very much um, and we look forward to seeing you. Hello I'm Mr Walsh, Head of the Computer Science Department. I've been at Aldridge School for eight years and one of my responsibilities is to develop the computer science curriculum. Computer science teaches students many different things including how to use software such as Microsoft Access and Excel, learning to program using Python, an example of this is when pupils created a calculator program using different functions for addition, subtraction and multiplication. Pupils are also learning about what components are inside a computer, how to be safe when using the internet and many more. What is exciting about the subject is forever changing. New technology arrives all the time. Computer power increases every year, and people's dependence and use of technology is very important if you want a successful career in the future. Okay, thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy Audrey's School. Thank you.